everybody, this is Andrew from T is for Tech. And today what I'm gonna be doing is another security camera, wireless camera review and unboxing. If you've subscribed to the channel, you know that I've been doing a bunch of these things lately. I've had the opportunity to review uh, you know, a handful of different devices from different manufacturers. And this one comes to me from uh, SimShine and it's the SimCam Alloy 1S. So this is an outdoor security camera, Wi-Fi based. And the kind of premise here is that it has on-device AI to detect from uh, you know, different motion events, right? So the thought is that it, because it has on-device AI, it can reduce the uh, false positive, false alerts, because it will actually alert on things that are actual <laughs> issues, right? So if there's a person coming that, you know, you're not expecting or, you know, those sorts of things, it, it, it will trigger versus just maybe some tree branches moving or something else, like a standard uh, generic motion alert. Now, on a lot of my other cameras, I often get things like false alarms because, uh, you know, it's windy and there's a big tree motion and that sort of thing. And it just clutters up my recordings and all of that with all these false alarms. So I'm going to see and be interested to find out how this one performs in that same scenario because it has more intelligence built into the camera. Anyways, long story short, something I'm going to look at. Has facial recognition. Um, like I said, no false alerts. There's no detection delay because it's done on camera. It's not having to go to some cloud service and then back and all of that. Subscription free. It's weatherproof and it supports multi object detection. So, if you look at this, it just comes in plain black box. And this does work with the Google Assistant, Alexa, if then then that, which is really cool. So, you can program some custom actions and triggers based on, uh, you know, reacting to things. It's also nice that it has 5 gigahertz wireless as well as 2.4 gigahertz. A common thing I've seen in other devices that I've tested lately is they only support 2.4 gigahertz, which most modern routers and houses now, you know, all your devices are kind of bouncing more towards the 5, 5G spectrum, and it gives you obviously faster speeds, enhanced throughput, and all of that. 10, 8, 1080 Full HD, and it's IP65 weather rated. Yeah, so that's it. So we'll just kind of get right into this. And again, this is going to be kind of like the two-part type of review that I normally do with these things is we're going to do the unboxing, kind of take a look at what you get in the package, take a look at the device here, and then I will set it up and do some testing and then kind of come back with my thoughts and probably some sample footage and that sort of thing. So get your user manual. So what do you get in the box? You get the camera, you get an antenna, you get a power adapter, a cable, a wall mount, a cover for the rear of it, X, a hex key, now this says it gives you an SD card. I didn't realize that it came with an SD card, so we'll have to check, take a look at that. User manual, some mounting screws, etc. So this does have, um, uh, like I said, 1080p and starlight night vision. So it's supposed to have really good night vision. We will take a look. So the one thing you'll have to get for this is it's, it comes with an app, right? And it's called the Sim Home app, both in the iOS or Google Play Store. And, you know, talks through the setup of that, which is probably going to be a similar sort of thing where you register for a, uh, an account and then you download the app, you install the app, you add a new device with the app, and then you go to town from there. So I'm just going to take a look at that. So what do you get? So you get the actual camera, and as you can see here, this is a black camera, and it's pretty, pretty nice looking from, it's kind of dirty. So the device itself is black. It's partially made out of aluminum, I believe. So this is, center section is aluminum, and then the back and the front is plastic. You have your camera lens there. You have your couple sensors, a microphone, probably some IR illuminator type of thing that's going to be built in. To the to the front of this, kind of get your little bit of a sunshade or kind of protector from 
something coming directly on top of the, the lens or water rolling down onto the, to the camera lens itself. And then on the back you have an assortment of uh, a speaker. You got a mounting post here. Um, and then you have the little bay that stores the, the power plug and other things, as well as the SD card right there. So there's a plate that will go over this once you kind of configure it. So you also get a power cable has kind of a barrel jack end on it. Get a little bag full of screws and bolts and a hex wrench. This is the mount for the wall, so you can screw that in and then you're able to basically just by friction, I think, adjust how, I don't know how that is. Uh, you might have to loosen up these on the back uh, to loosen up this ball mount, ball joint so then you can kind of move it around. But that's how that works. So this is, uh, this is a plastic. And then this mount here is metal. The, here's the back plate that covers up that rear of the camera. And you do get an SD card, which is actually pretty cool. So 16 gig micro SD card, which is really nice. I've never seen a camera actually give you an SD card. So, I mean, it's a little small, 16 gig, but I mean, that's nice to get. And then the antenna. So the antenna on this one mounts on the bottom. So if you had this all kind of rigged up to be mounted, this is basically what it's gonna look like. Put it on whatever you have. Kind of mounted this way, with the antenna on the bottom. And it can rotate, point it in different directions. So what I'm gonna do here real quick, I'm just gonna plug this in and we'll go through the setup on my phone. And I'll just hold the phone up here to show kind of how, how that works. And then once it's connected to my Wi-Fi, I'll go find a place to plug this in to do my testing and mount it at least temporarily so that I can do my testing. And then maybe when I find a permanent place where I'm going to put this, then I'll obviously mount it permanently. But for this video and this test, I'm just going to, you know, put it in a, in a temporary place, maybe a couple different places so I can get some different footage to show to you in this review. So let me grab my phone really quick. So this power cord is pretty long. I, it's probably about 10 feet long. I'm not really sure, but it seems like it's about 10 feet or so. And you can just plug that in. So I did turn this on by plugging it in. And as you can see, there's a little blinking green light. And that means that the device is ready uh, to be paired. So I will go ahead here real quick. The Sim Home app. So Sim Home app. And that's what it looks like, Sim Home. Go ahead and install that. Okay, can open it up. Sim home, access, yes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email credentials and sign up. So I put in my email address and I created a password and then it said it sent me an email. So I'm gonna check my email. Okay, now I got an email that says that uh, Sim home is registered, activate. Okay, success, activated, I can log into the app. So go back into the he app here and log back in. You enter my username and password that I set up. Log in. Uh, there's some notification settings. Got to authorize a few things, allow. Okay, notification settings are set. Now I can, obviously there's nothing here, so I can add a device. And sim, I want to pick uh, sim cam alloy series. So it is on. So this is my wireless. So I will. So my wireless and the password. And I'm just going to say sim cam alloy default location. Uh, time and then it gives you a QR code. So I can use this QR code. 
disconnecting Wi-Fi. Please wait for a minute. Okay, do you hear that? It made, uh, told me connecting Wi-Fi, please wait for a minute. And so it's going to connect, I guess. Uh, in the meantime, while that's connecting, uh, this popped up and says AI detection, facial recognition, person detection, pet detection, and vehicle detection are the onboard succeeded. are the onboard types of AI motion sensing that it does that it does support and it can also I guess recognize certain faces so I'm assuming the way this works is I can train it to know my family and then it can do certain things based on knowing who who the person is which is kind of interesting okay so swipe down okay so sim coin alloy and our device home page Allow, and it's asking for, or it's showing me some, it's hard to see because it dimmed the screen, but it gives you like the, the app tour guide. So there, so now you can see it's got the preview of what's on the camera on the phone. So what I'm going to do now, now that I've got this connected and it's on my Wi-Fi network, I'm going to go find some place to put it. And then I will use it and kind of do some testing for a few days or however long it takes to get some footage and some uh, feedback on how, how this thing actually performs. And then I will come back to this video and show some of that footage, talk about the experience, maybe uh, look at the app really quick, and then conclude with my thoughts. So I will see you on the computer. Hey everybody, so I did have this set up uh, in a couple different locations around my house for the past few days. And what I wanted to do before I showed some sample footage uh, of it recording and all of that, uh, different events, what I wanted to do is just quickly show the app. So I'm just kind of sharing this through the Samsung DeX app on my computer so I can see the actual uh, app on my phone. And you can see there's a bunch of different features. Once you have a SIM home account, you can have emergency contact. Uh, you could share the device with other folks that have SIM home accounts. You can manage faces. So the cool thing is you can add a face in here. So for myself, I added a selfie. And then the if you make if you make it in use on the camera, it will have your face data on the camera so it can do it can do AI recognition facial recognition on the video which is pretty cool so you can add like if your faces in your family if you have you know your, your significant other and your kids you can add them in here and then the camera will recognize them and not uh, flag them as like a, a, a danger or whatever right so it's not just a unknown person it's you know a person and then you can do security verification for the app. So it'll fingerprint, you know, set up or pin code or things like that to get into it. And there's a bunch of instructions, different notification settings, uh, all of that. So typical things you would find in an application. But then, you know, you'll see here that you have your, your camera, right? So this one, I did not name anything. I didn't say like basement or, you know, outdoors or anything like that. So it just shows up as default. Uh, the little green icon shows that it's online and I can then just enter it. And it's going to be pointing kind of at my wall now um, because I have this in my office and I took it back in. So the cool thing is you can see um, like a daily report. So today there have been no, you know, face ID notifications people that it saw, pets, uh, vehicles, or anything like that. But then if you go back on the calendar, you'll see some dots here. Um, so like on the 3rd, which was yesterday, you'll see there's a couple videos that it shows. The latest one was a person detection. As you can see, I just kind of walked across the screen there. I was taking the garbage out. You can see here uh, vehicle exiting. So there's my... Uh, wife's car kind of backing out of the driveway and what's kind of cool you'll see in the video when I show these videos uh, the the camera's drawing 
bounding boxes around the different objects. So it's recognized in both of these as cars. You can see like the little red uh, boxes around there, and it's, those are cars, right? So it says vehicle exiting. So it knows that the car is leaving, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, another person detection, I had just kind of walked, um, you know, up to the up to the the house. Now, I don't know why it did not recognize my face because that was a pretty, you know, direct on. I walked towards the camera. Um, it, it just shows person and show me in particular. But there was another scenario where it did send me a notification on the phone that Andrew uh, was seen or something like that. Uh, but for some reason, it does not show up in in this list as, as my name, which I would have thought it might have been. So here's another one I just tested. I just backed in, and it shows vehicle entering. And again, it shows the little red bounding boxes around that. There's another one, vehicle exiting, when I was backing up. Here I was just kind of backing forward and backwards to see what it would do, and it showed kind of exiting, entering a few times. Another person detection. Um, yeah, as I walked to the car, and then... This was just when I was setting the camera up, I was, was jiggling it around. So that shows that. Uh, and then earlier that day, I had it on my deck overnight, and it detected my dog. So you can see it puts a little green bounding box around that and says pet detection. She's trying to decide whether or not she wants to go down <laughs> in the yard to go to the bathroom or not in the morning. So uh, pet detection also works. So I'll flip to this uh, the other day. And on this day, again, I had this on my deck, and you can see uh, my dog over there, you know, barking and uh, kind of being annoying. If I look at this one, I think she comes down the stairs on this one. You can see it's drawing the green bounding box around, around the pet. Same thing there. And then here I think I came out and just waved at the camera just to see if it would detect me. And it does. And then here's when I had initially set it up. And then I was walking back inside. So there. So basically, what the cool thing about this is, is these are all the alerts that the camera actually alerted on. And you can see there's no false detections, right? It's looking for pets. It's looking for people. It's looking for cars. It's looking for certain things. And it's not just recording all kinds of random stuff. Like in other cameras that I've had in the past, like this would be cluttered with about 80 recordings of the tree branches moving in the wind and all of that. And I think that's super cool. I mean, and I, when I first was looking at this camera, I didn't think much about it. I was like, oh, okay, AI, what does this mean? You know, on the camera, AI, blah, blah, blah. But it's actually really cool because... It's detect, you know, it's making these detections. Uh, where is it at? For you know, people, pets, vehicles, and then, yeah, and you can set up some zone settings for movement. But it's just really, I think it's good from this perspective because really, all I care about when I do have a camera out is, is there something in the, you know, like is there an animal? Is there a person? Is there cars coming? Or these common things? I'm not really caring so much about wind blowing leaves around my yard or <clears throat> those sorts of things. So I think that's really, really pretty cool. So there's a bunch of settings here as well. And you can take a look at that if you have, uh, you know, uh, if you get the get the device and you get the app and set the video encoding format, you know, H.265 or H.264. Um, you can change the device name. You can change some different settings on the camera if you want to flip the horizontal flip the horizontal or vertical if you have this mounted kind of upside down or a different way. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, you can check, update the firmware, you know, synchronize the time and all that. So that's all I really wanted to show in the app itself. It's, you know, it's pretty simple to use. And, you know, I've found that it actually works really well. Uh, obviously, you can do things like flip this into... Uh, you know, full screen mode, which flips it on your phone. You can start recording at any time. Uh, 
and I just caused the microphone <laughs> to have a problem. But you can start recording. Um, you can make it do an al alert here. You might be able to hear this. I'll click this. Yeah, trigger alarm. So it has an alarm built in. You can actually have an alarm when it sees people, when it sees people that aren't you or in the face library, etc. So there's lots of features there um, that you can do. You can change it from full HD to HD, um, some different things uh, in, in that respect as well. And then basically manage you know, the library so you can download things to your computer or your phone, right? The videos get synced to your phone library and all of that. So just a full featured uh, app that seems to work really well. I didn't have any problems with the app. I got notifications when things happened and it was really great. So what I'm going to do now is just play some of the quality of the videos that it recorded. And I'm not going to really say anything. I'll just turn the sound down a little bit because there's some plain noise and, and stuff like that. But I'll let that play, and you know, basically that'll be the end of the video. So I'm going to drop uh, links to this in the description, some more information. So if you are interested in this camera, uh, definitely check it out. I was, I was impressed. If you can't tell, I'm a little excited about it because I think this was one of the better cameras I've reviewed, at least from the uh, alerting standpoint and being able to recognize objects and things like that. And the cool thing is it's all done on the camera. So it's basically... It's instantaneous, right? So it knows that there's a pet. It knows there's a car. It doesn't have to talk to any cloud services, send any video anywhere. You don't have to have any subscriptions. You know, the SD card is right on in, in the device. You can connect to it. All in all, super impressed. Really cool device. Definitely work, worth taking a look at if you're into this sort of thing. So I'm going to play the videos now, and then that'll be basically the end of the uh, end of this video.